stuff. How about some good news this morning? Have you ever dreamed of accomplishing a goal you set and life just sometimes gets in the way? Well, it turns out you're not alone. A Tuscaloosa man is proving, though, that it's never too late mm -hmm. to achieve what could seem like the impossible. Storm Team meteorologist Nate Harrington joins us now with his story. Yeah, there are very few challenges for lovers of the outdoors uh, that compare to hiking the more than 2,000 miles of the Appalachian Trail. Last week, I got to meet a man who conquered that feat. This good news story comes to us from Chris Ando and is sure to inspire. Rod Riley lives to roam. What started as an Eagle Scout in his younger years turned into a passion. We hiked and camped and fished and anything that has to do with outdoors, we do it. He's even written two books that put his passion on display. But with all his accomplishments, there is still one thing on his to-do list, something that's been on it for a long time. Someone that we knew had hiked the AT, and I said, what's that? He said, it's the Appalachian Trail. I didn't know anything about it. That was basically 44 years ago. But after a lot of training here at Lake Lurleen State Park and support from family and friends, he knew the time was right. February the 9th of this year, on my 68th birthday, um, I went to Springer Mountain, signed the book, and headed north. Almost immediately, he found out his training might not be enough for the AT. This is not a hiking trail, <laughs> and uh, it's not for the faint of heart. I banged up both knees. Um, sometimes I thought, this hike is over. I, I hurt so bad. But with the help of his wife of 45 years back home handling logistics, and his friend Dan Speed of more than 50 years on the trail with him, he was determined. When, once I said, I'm going to do it, then I knew I'm going to do it. In our interview, Riley spoke about trail angels, people that live along the trail and support complete strangers trying to complete the monumental task like himself. He said those people made all the difference. I also encountered some trail angels uh, that I'd never seen before. Um, this experience renewed my faith in, in uh, humankind. And Riley is taking his experience on the AT and turning it into his third book. He says you'll likely find tips to hiking the trail, things he did right and things he did wrong. But most of all, you'll find the story of his hiking family. So I met a lot of people on the trail, uh, both northbound and southbound. And they all had their own stories. And then, then there was a story with me. Yeah, that 2,000 mile trip, Georgia to Maine. There were so many stories that Rod shared with us. Uh, I wasn't able to include them all. We talked for about half an hour. A couple of fun items, though. He never saw a bear, never, in more than seven months that he spent on the trail. And according to him, he once set up a campsite or a camp at a grave site and uh, possibly encountered some supernatural hikers. Yeah, he said <laughs> that uh, he set up a camp and uh, he got in his tent at night by himself and he heard uh, people walking around mm. or what he thought were people walking around and he was all alone. So yeah. <laughs> well, lots of fun stories from him. When there. you set up camp at a grave site, some of that probably works on the right. mind. Yeah. Well, right. He, yeah. didn't, he didn't know it at the time. So oh. he encountered some other people that were on the trail oh. with him that had a little bit more experience. And they said, yeah, you know you set up oh. near a grave site, right? And he's like, sure oh. didn't. But that <laughs> explains it. So It's amazing you never saw a bear the whole time. I mean. And, and I just checked the, the Appalachian Trail uh, website. They actually have a, uh, a bear advisory out right now. Oh, seriously, wow. for increased bear activity, I guess, during this time of year, right before hibernation. Hmm. They, uh, they have increased bear activity, but they never saw one single bear. Wow. 13 states, 2,000 miles, no bears. Seven months. Seven that. months. Unreal. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great story. Yep. Well, tell us about some other good news stories happening in your neighborhood. It could be about a positive program or someone you know doing something good for others. All you have to do is send us an email to goodnews at cbs42.com. You can also inbox us on our social media pages.